Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General Reading. This is for the element of Earth. So if you are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of December um, the 5th through the, I'm sorry, the 6th through the 8th, 2019. Um, so I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel, and I ask that you all please continue to do so. Um, remember, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they give you clarity. Um, if you guys are wanting to book a video or email reading, payments are collected on Fridays, uh, so which is tomorrow. So um, make sure that you reach out to me if you want to order that reading. Um, if you want to join me on Patreon, please be sure to visit. All that information is in the description box below. Uh, if you want to reach me by phone, that's a different process, but again, that information's in the description box. So um, let's get started here. We have Central Issue, Heart of the Matter as the Knight of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Cups. The King of Swords. Two of Wands. Ace of Cups, Six of Swords. All right, so central issue. Um, I feel like you guys have been waiting for something. Maybe you've been waiting to hear from someone. You may have been doing some sort of contemplating or taking some sort of assessment of your finances, assessment of your love life. I feel like maybe you're trying to get things into perspective and trying to figure out like what's really going on universe. What exactly is meant for me? What direction am I supposed to be headed in and the direction that I've decided on? Is that the path for me? You know, I feel like you guys are really trying to figure out is something worth your time, energy, um, is an investment going to pay off? So it also looks like you guys are deciding to go on a different path or in a different direction. I don't know if you were with a water sign. It almost looks like you and a water sign might decide that you're not on the same path. Um, or maybe you're thinking about how you want to express yourself. So, I mean, there's a number of things going on, but for the most part, I feel like you guys have been just taking some sort of assessment. Now, it does look like there's some sort of disappointment here. Um, I feel like you're maybe you are sad about something or something saddened you over the weekend. I feel like maybe you're feeling like something's missing or something's off. Um, I'm looking at that shooting star here. Um, maybe you feel like your wish didn't come true or your dream didn't come true. Something didn't happen like you thought it was going to, which makes you a little sad. Um, but I feel that something is getting ready to happen. It's just that you're unaware of it. Like I see some sort of um, wish fulfillment. Something's taking place. Maybe there's some sort of it, it's going to feel like a miracle to you. Whatever's happening, something's brewing. Um, yeah, you may have just been turned in a wrong direction or maybe you've, your focus wasn't on the right. Your focus wasn't in the right direction. I don't know. I just feel like maybe you were focused on the wrong thing. And so you think that something is over or gone, but it's, it's not. Or there's something else better on the way. But, you know, once you pull yourself up out of this emotional rut, you'll be okay. But it does look like you're waiting for something. I, I feel like you're missing. It, it feels like there's something missing here. And I don't know, too, if there's something that you wanted since childhood or ever since you were young or something is reminding reminding you of when you were young. It also could be that it's not you that, you know, your child is sad about something or someone around you is sad about something. Now, most people's 
backs came out looking in a certain direction. So for me, I feel like there's something that you're trying to focus on. Either you may have your eye on an air sign or an air sign has their eye on you. There is a need for you to like really just speak your mind. I don't know if you are intimidated by someone, but I feel like you just need to stand your ground. You are going to have clarity if you've been feeling like there's been some void in your life. I feel like you're going to know which direction to go in. At some point, you're like, okay, this is exactly what I want to do. This is where I'm headed. This is where I'm going. Some of you want love or you want to follow your dreams. You want to follow your passions. So whether it's a person um, or a situation, a job, something, I feel like you're going towards it. Something inspires you. Maybe you had given up and then something makes you say it's not too late. I think I do want to go after this. I'm going to go after this person or this this uh, job or this situation. So I feel like you're traveling and for well, for some of you, you may be traveling to get to what you want. Um, maybe you wanted to travel. Maybe you wanted to relocate. Maybe something just involves traveling. Um, I also feel that you're just deciding to allow things to play out. I don't know if you have been fighting against the flow of things, but now it looks like you're just surrendering and saying, let me just go ahead and see where this is taking me. Where am I being led to? So I feel like you're trusting your spirit guides or you're trusting your intuition um, and you're ready to move past any type of negative or sad times. Like your emotions may have been the thing that has inspired you to get you to start going in cer uh, a certain direction. Maybe you had to experience a uh, disappointment in order to know where to go next. Some of you may have been in a situation where you thought you had made a good decision or you thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side and it's like, okay, I don't, I think I may have made a mistake or I made the wrong choice, but I feel like the point is that now you know what you want to do, but you had to experience disappointment first. Um, something else I was getting ready to say here. Hmm. Yeah, so I feel like either way you guys are just kind of being led to follow your heart. So let me look at the Eight of Cups here. I do feel like someone's going to basically open up and express how they feel. I feel like there is a conversation where someone's saying I have to go away or I have to leave now. Oh my God. Sorry, the cards just keep all trying to fall out. Okay, so the Eight of Cups, I feel like some of you are feeling, are regretting the fact that you didn't have the courage to go forward with something. Um, it also could be your lack of courage is because you are sad about your past or you're, st you're afraid to let go of the past. I think you're afraid to let go of something. But at the same time, you know you need to. So I see you going ahead to, and taking that risk. Yeah, fear has been holding you back. Also, there could have been some sort of codependent relationship um, that was holding you back from pursuing your dreams. Or maybe it was a job that you were codependent on. But I feel like that's coming down. That's 
we're nipping that in the bud. I feel like there's a need to cut ties from anything that has been toxic or unhealthy. Someone also may have intervened your relationship or something has intervened your life. I feel like there's someone that when you think about them, it makes you happy. Um, hmm. I feel like two people are actually happy or think about each other. But at the same time, they're guarded towards each other. And there's still a, a lack of trust. I don't know if this person has disappointed you in the past or if the last time you tried to pursue some sort of career, you were let down. But the Eight of Cups is just basically saying that you need to overcome your fears. Um, you need to get out. If, you're, if you have been depressed or sad about something, then you just need to let that go and don't let that stop you. The past is the past. I feel like someone is ready to move on from the past. You may receive some sort of message or good news very soon. And I see someone talking indirectly. Someone may have been sending you indirect messages. Let's see here. I'm going to look at the Six of Swords. Yeah, so you guys are coming out of a dark place. Um, I feel like there was something holding you back. And you're gradually moving out of that situation. Now you are behaving fearless. You're, you know, putting your foot down. You are taking a stand. You're setting boundaries. Um, you're confronting any type of demons that you might have. Uh, within yourself. Um, I feel like whatever it is you're confronting your fears, something that you've been afraid to do, you're going to do it. You're like, okay, I'm not afraid anymore. Let me just gear up and go, go in. You know, so it's like you are geared up for war or geared up for protection. Um, I feel like you are protected in regards to your travels or whatever direction that you're getting ready to go into. I feel like you are protected. I feel like you've had a chance to think. You've had enough time alone. You've had um, time to figure a lot of things out. You put some serious thought into some things. You're able to now have, um, you're able to view something from a higher perspective now which is helping you make some sort of practical decision. I feel like you are trying to figure out how you're going to um, make an offer or someone is thinking about how to make an offer towards you. I also feel like if something, if, so, if you did receive some sort of offer, you, you put a lot of thought into it, especially if it's like for um, financial opportunity, you put a lot of thought into it before you decide to take the offer. Yeah, so I feel like you're gonna have clarity. I feel like you're gonna have new beginnings. Um, definitely like air and earth energies around you and water. I feel like someone's sneaking away though. Someone's leaving without telling people. So I don't know if you're quitting a job without telling people or if you're relocating without telling people or taking some sort of trip in secret. Um, 
but it looks like if you were unhappy about something, it's like, I can't take this anymore. I'm going to have to just take a risk. Hope I don't get caught. And then here you are like leaving behind the past. So I feel like there's going to be closure. If there have also been some sort of secrets, I feel like there's going to be closure. It's like, okay, no more secrets. Um, yeah, I mean, even if you're all, if you're in a relationship, there's something going on where maybe you and your partner are deciding to maybe travel together and maybe do it in secret. Hmm. Yeah, and I also feel that jealousy is either pushing you to do something, you become very um, focused, like it's, you realize that you have to pe become obsessed with whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish so that you can do it. It's, you know, like when you want something so bad, that's all you can dream about that's all you can um think about i don't care if it's money or a person or career i feel like you're allowing something to consume you so it can drive you forward um so you may be passionate about so your passions are driving you forward and helping you come out of a dark place i feel like you had to shift your focus away from something you had to stop thinking about what you didn't have and focus on the the future so yeah you're looking at the future here and i feel like you have some sort of vision or some sort of foresight yeah so nothing i feel like nothing can really stop you right now hmm yeah so let's go ahead and pull some energy cards for you guys uh oh wrong deck I feel like you're going to have whatever it is that you've been waiting for. All right. Additional messages for Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. For this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Just putting that out there, you guys. It doesn't matter with tarot about whether the tarot reader follows Vedic or Western or what. It doesn't matter. It What matters is what you identify with. So... Central issue, we have indecision. Then we have a fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. We have door to romance and caring connections. So whatever you were torn about, like you were trying to decide, remember you were putting things into perspective. You are looking at something from a different vantage point. Um... And I feel like after much thought and consideration, you're deciding to speak something into existence or you're deciding to open up because your throat chakra could have been blocked. So I feel like, too, maybe you are being assisted by your angels or your spirit guides like they're over. They're assisting you and encouraging you to speak or say something so I feel like whatever or they're removing any type of blockages that have been put on you, um, especially if someone has been, you know, trying to do any type of work on you or bind you. Like, I feel like now you have help or assistance to remove that blockages. And I feel that you are now having the courage to say something that you maybe were afraid to say or do. So something is leading to the door to romance. So for many of you, it is about love. It is about romance. Um, and so maybe you've decided to open your mouth and, and just speak about what it is that you're wanting. It also could be 
if if it's not you, then the person who is the pers pursuer, they're the ones that will be reaching out and um, opening up here, being more vocal, being vulnerable. And maybe some of you have been seeing the number 33 as well. Um, so we do have the caring connection. So there is someone who wants to be close to you, who wants to show you that they're that they care about you or that they are have been thinking about you. So I feel like someone is going to show you a huge gesture of affection. You know, it's like, okay, now it's going to be clear about who it is that you want to be with uh, or it's going to be clear who wants to be with you. So I feel like you guys, even if you are in a relationship already, if there have been any type of blockages in your relationship, maybe you guys were saying, should I stay in this relationship? Should I leave? I feel like something is saying it's worth it. You know, like an investment will pay off. It was maybe just a matter of being vocal about it, speaking about it. Um, if some of you were with a relationship where you were torn between two people, I feel that eventually, whatever that indecision was, maybe you had a chance to explore the grass to see if the grass was green on the other side. I feel like wherever you were feeling let down at or that disappointment, now you have clarity and you will go after the person that you do feel that has been missing. Um, and career, I just still feel like at some point you are finding the perfect match. You're going to find something that um, that you're passionate about, where the company cares about you and shows you that they care about you. Um, you might, if it's about relocating, I feel that you're going to find the, the place that feels like home, the place that you just feel like embraces you. So I feel like you're going to find your match in any situation. Um, if it doesn't happen within, you know, the, the, the weekend, then this is something that is in your energy field and may happen at a later date. So I hope those messages resonated for you. Uh, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.